Welcome to Yoga with Cynthia. I'm Cynthia Bialik, I'm both the host and the producer for this program, and Irene Faithful is often here with me uh, to present various yoga poses. Today, we are going to be focusing on upper body strength in yoga. Uh, I think there is a, a confusion sometimes that yoga is more about flexibility, that you can improve your body definition and overall strength, um, and you can. And yoga uh, can be a blend of everything. And so today, we're going to focus a little bit more and, and concentrate so that you understand the value that yoga has for promoting upper body strength. So we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up. We're going to focus a lot on the core and, uh, and a lot on the arms, the shoulders, um, and the chest and the back. So let's just start with making small circles. I want you to look down at your toes and I want you to lift your toes off the mat and we're gonna first find Mula Bandha to stabilize the spine. So we're gonna draw the inner thighs up towards the pubic bone and then from there, get the pubic bone to lift using the perineal muscles. Then draw the navel into the spine and gently Pull your head back so it's lengthening through the crown of your head, but you're pulling your neck back so that the head is falling comfortably over the shoulders. So now we're going to move the shoulders in circles. Starting to warm up those arm muscles, warming up the shoulder joint. Now let's reverse whatever position you're in. And now when we raise the arms, first we're gonna rotate those shoulders. So we're gonna raise the arms like we are surrendering. And then we're gonna reach up and see if we can grab the elbows here. And then slowly bring the elbows down. Now if you have some issues with your shoulders and you have to modify this, feel free just to bring those arms halfway up and bring those arms in here instead of lifting them all the way up. So let's go through that same movement again. Bring those arms up. And Irene, if you want to demonstrate the halfway, you can do that. We're going to reach up halfway or all the way, stretching the arms up. We can stretch those lats here and then slowly bring those arms back and down. Now let's send that left arm out in front with your thumb up. And we're going to look over the right shoulder and then reach that arm back, thumb up. Opening the rib cage, stretching the chest involving the internal external obliques. Slowly come down, take your right arm out, take your left arm back, look over your left shoulder. So we're gonna be strengthening the shoulders a little bit, just holding those arms up against the force of gravity. Let's bring those arms back down, bring both arms out in front. Now when we pull the arms back, we're working the, and strengthening the rhomboids and infraspinatus muscles. We're gonna take those arms back as far as we can. And when we bring those arms in and exhale, we're gonna bow our head, separate those shoulder blades. Take a deep breath in, open the chest. Now add a little extension. Turn your palms face up, lift the rib cage, stretching the front of your chest and shoulders. Round the spine, bow your head. And again, two more times, lifting the chest up. And exhale, fold. And now drop the arms to your side. And we're just going to slide those hands on those thighs. We're going to bend the knees and come into a modified chair pose. Now, for those of you that have issues with the back and you don't want as much force on that back, you can bring those arms out in front of you one at a time or both here. If you're able to, bring the arms all the way up. And look to the front of your mat, strengthening the spine, strengthening the shoulders. So we're in Ukatasana, which is mighty pose, otherwise known as chair. Let's bring those arms down and take those arms up. And now we're going to actually extend the spine. If you have an issue with your shoulders, you can keep your hands in prayer and just pull up through the crown of your head here, or you can bring your arms up to your ears and continue tractioning the spine as you keep your hands together. Now when we do a lateral bend, we can do the same modification for the shoulders here. You're gonna take your left hand on the shoulder, 
slide the right arm down, lifting the left elbow so you feel the stretch in your lats. If you feel you can um, increase that stretch and lengthen the arm just a little bit more, you can bring that whole arm over to the right. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Take the right hand to the right shoulder, start to slide down your left leg. And if you feel you're able, bring your right arm up and over that shoulder. Both arms up in a big V. Lift your chest up in the air. And we're gonna move those arms back behind you, stretching the front of your chest. Gently pull the elbows in. Lift your chin, gaze up. Baby backward bend. And now bow your head. And if you can, bring the arms up and over the shoulders as we bring the head towards the knees. Stretching out the hamstrings, stretching out the back. Now some of you may need to use the block for the next one. If you do, place your block underneath your hands like so. Some of you may be able to reach all the way down to the mat. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. If it doesn't work for you to reach all the way down, don't. You can also use the block and place it on the outside of your leg. So when we're twisting, we're stretching the outer thighs, the glute medius and minimus. We're also stretching through the uh, lats and the internal external obliques. And you can come around the other way. Feel free to do whatever you feel comfortable with. Now we're gonna start on the mat. So let's go ahead and step back with your right foot, step back with your left. And we're gonna come to our knees. Now if being on the knees is at all uncomfortable for you, you can place a lip in your mat, just like lift the middle of your mat up and put your knees on that folded edge. So if you feel more comfortable doing that, please feel free. What we're gonna start by doing is engaging the triceps just a little bit we're gonna drop down to the elbows and drop back up. Everybody's gonna start at a different place. So some of you may want more challenge than others. So we're gonna demonstrate nice and easy, getting some tricep tones, some tricep challenge, down and up. Now, if you feel you're able to, Walk your legs back a little further and pull the body forward so your legs are straight and you're pulling through the crown of your head. Now lower the whole body down and bring the body up a little bit more effort, a little bit more strengthening for those triceps. We're gonna do that again two more times. So this is our plank. We're coming down between those Elbows in a Chaturanga Dadasana. One more time. Come back up and let's stretch those shoulders. Pull back to your heels in extended child's pose. Now we're going to come up in a high plank which really works the shoulders, but it also works the core, the transverse abdominis muscle fibers, those deep, deep ab muscles. So let's come off the floor. If this is too much for you at any time, you can come back to your knees. Stay here and breathe, but you'll feel the impact on the shoulders. So much more demand on the shoulders as we lift the knees off the floor. We're gonna try to hold this for 30 seconds. Very nice, I hope you're doing okay at home. So we have five more seconds to go. And as we come down, knees are to the ground. Let's release the stress in the shoulders by taking your left arm onto the right and coming down to the right elbow and stretching the back of that left shoulder. Yeah, 
and then on the other side, let's do the same thing. Take the right arm over. So we have several more asanas that really involve the upper body. So please pace yourself. We're going to drop our belly down on the mat. And we're going to slide our hands to the very front end of the mat. And again, just like we did before, we're going to lift the elbows up. But this time, I want you to roll your shoulders back. Keep your pelvis on the mat and come up into a sphinx. So for those of you that have issues with your back and you don't want to come up as high, or you have issues with your wrist and don't want to put the direct pressure of your body weight into your wrist, this is a nice option. You notice that my hands are not pressing down. I'm pulling away from my hands. I'm really rooted on my fingers and I could actually lift the heels of my hands off the mat and sphinx. So it's less um, contraindicated for the wrists. Now, if you wanna join us and come into the upward dog, we're gonna come back down to the mat, slide those hands under the chest. Those of you that can handle this, the wrist, you're gonna pull your shoulders back but use the strength of your back muscles as well. Come up and look up in the air. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Urdhva Mukha Savasana. The upward facing dog. Feel those shoulders, feel the triceps. Feel your erector spiny muscles, those back muscles engaging. Now round out the spine and we're gonna curl those toes under this time. We're gonna transfer our weight back onto the balls of your feet and keep your weight back. So we're gonna feel the stretching of our back muscles. We would, shouldn't feel as much on our wrists, but we will feel our shoulders. Let's come up, pull back to the heels and stretch those arms out. Again, just like Sphinx, you should be able to come up onto your fingertips. More of the weight is in the back, in your Legs, pulling those heels down into the mat, tucking your chin into the chest. Now we're gonna to try to take our right hand off the floor, reach around that left calf into the twisted dog, using internal external obliques, twisting all the way around to the left side of the mat, and then replacing the right hand, taking your left hand over and look underneath that right shoulder Stay there and breathe. Now replace those hands, tuck your chin into your chest and drag that head straight down. Feeling the stretch on the back of those legs. Continue to breathe as you hold the down dog. Driving the navel into the spine, lining up the toes. Two more slow breaths. And now come out of the pose. Turn your hands so they're facing up. We're gonna stretch the wrists, turn those palms so they're facing up, fingers are down. And then as we sit back in child's pose, you're gonna bring the hands over your shoulders. Now I know a lot of you think in terms of the arm balance poses when we're talking about yoga strengthening. Certainly there are a lot of arm balance poses, but even with the arm balance pose, it involves several more muscles, predominantly your core. So we're gonna do a very basic arm balance pose. We're gonna start in a squat, but we're gonna start in a wide squat, and I'm gonna give you several options. So let's try it, okay? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We're gonna take our feet wide apart, and you're gonna actually take your heels off the mat and slide your elbows in front of your shins. Now, you're gonna fall forward and feel the weight of your body 
coming on to the triceps. Your shins are against your triceps. Now, some of you may want to just try one foot off the floor, one foot at a time off the floor. And the pose we're trying right now is called crow. Crow is low, okay? Crane is a lot higher. And when you fall, there's a, it's a lot further to fall. Here, if you fall, you're only inches from the mat and you tend to fall back on your feet or your elbows. So let's try the crow. Just lift your hips up and try to come forward if you can, one foot up at a time. You can try both feet up. You can come up and down. Now crane, if you choose, and you've been doing yoga for a while, you're gonna go ahead and slide your knees together. You're gonna bring your arms further out. And do you see how your knees snuggle behind your armpits? So your knees fit comfortably behind your armpits. In crane, you're gonna get that relationship between the, the back of your shoulders, your armpits there, and your knees. So now we're gonna lift up a lot higher and we're gonna to look to the front of our mat and come up into crane. And return to the mat. All right, so we have side crane and for some women, side crane is best done with both elbows on the outside of your hips. So you can try it. You can just see how you feel leaning into that side. If you feel you're able to come off the mat, just lift your feet up. And if you prefer, bring your arms out to the side here and just pick up the outside leg. All right, let's try it on. Bring your elbows over against that left hip and come in, fall into that, into both elbows, collecting that left hip with both elbows and slotting those legs off the mat. Okay. And last one, side approach, bringing the arms out to the side, center your hips, and lift here. All right, so you have all the versions of crane. Let's stretch those wrists out, turn your palms face up, sit back and reach for your shoulders. So now we're gonna cross the ankles and come to a seated position. And we did a lot for the triceps and shoulders. So now we're gonna focus on biceps. Let's grab our big toes for a happy baby's pose. So we're gonna do the seated version of happy baby. And when we work those legs and pull the legs back, we're working the posterior delts now we're working the biceps. So try one leg at a time first. Pull back, using the biceps, using your hamstrings. Pull back. Let's try both legs. Pull in, then push up. Elbows and knees, push up. Now, in yoga, we try to hold our poses as long as we feel we can, developing long-term flexibility. But repeating movements over and over can produce what we call dynamic flexibility. So we're gonna do a few more of those. It also builds better strength in the bicep. Let's hold those heels up and look up in the air.
Now we're going to go into a pose called the tabletop. So let's bring those heels in, bring the feet down, and we're going to bring those hands back behind us. Okay? So this is the table. So again, we're working the, the back, the back of the shoulders, so the posterior deltoids, but we're also working the rhomboids, infraspinatus muscles, because we're going to lift those hips up. But let's first take the hips forward. Then as we lift up, we're going to pull the pelvis up as high as we can and then look back. Deep breaths as we lift that chest in the air. Now return to the mat and let's stretch forward. Let's bring those arms up, shake those hands a bit. Come forward and drop the head to your knees. Hold on to that, stretching those wrists, stretching the back. So now we're going to do a little sidearm balance. So we're going to cross those ankles, come up on the knees, and we're going to slide our left leg to the middle of the mat, and we're going to open the right hip. You're going to take the right arm up in the air and lift that chest there. If you want more challenge, you can slide that left leg underneath your right and hold. Let's come back to our plank and come over to the other side. You can come down on that right knee or keep the legs off the floor. And let's return to the mat, knees down. And now at this time, we're going to bring the elbows to the mat. We're going to bring the head between the elbows. And into low dog, we're just going to lift the elbows and stretch those shoulders. All right, let's cross the ankles. And we have, we're going to do a few shoulder stretches first, and then we're going to focus on our core again. So let's take our left heel underneath our, or right heel underneath the left hip. Left leg goes over the right. And we're going to do a modified cow face, focusing on the upper body. So first, open the chest and extend the spine. When we extend the spine, we shorten the distance between the shoulders and our hips. And that way, we create a better environment to be able to reach back and touch both hands. We're going to start by trying to relax our left shoulder. We did a lot of work for this shoulder. So let's just swing the left arm back and see if we can reach up the back of our spine, sliding your fingers to the very top of that right shoulder. Move your hand around the shoulder. And they're just like you're pitching a ball with your right hand. You're going to pitch that ball, bring that arm up and over. Lock the hands. Lift your chest in the air here. Deep breaths. And let's try the other side. Let's come around. Left heel is over. Deep breath in, swing that right arm back. Take your left arm in the air, stretch your left arm up high. So good cow face. It's a good day when you feel you can stretch on both sides. You can feel free and use a strap to help yourself, but it's important to try the weaker side. When you first go in this on your own, try your weaker side first and then go to your stronger side. Let's come back to center. We just a little core work. It's just about time to say goodbye. So let's focus on our core just a little bit. Bring the knees together. Deep breath in, pull the chest up. Exhale and round out the spine. 
And deep breath in. So I'm going to take this opportunity to thank you for watching Yoga with Cynthia. And we're going to continue our core work through the duration of the program. You join us.